Hello everyone, this is Mr. Appel, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, solve a problem like this one. Uh, if you're stuck on problems like this in IXL, I'm going to help you out, hopefully. So, uh, you're looking at a graph, and you're asked to write the equation of the circle in that graph. And uh, so, we want to recall the equation of a circle, which you should know, is, uh, is as shown here. Uh, and, and again, the center is at hk, that's what the h and the k represent, and the radius is r. So if we can identify, if we can identify the center, the coordinates of the center, and identify the radius, all we have to do is plug in hk and r into that equation, and we are good to go. So looking at this graph, let's find the center. There it is. Coordinates of that point are 6, 0. So the center is at 6, 0. And the radius you can calculate by simply counting from the center. Get that out of the way. Counting from the center to a point on the circle. The easiest way to do that is just to follow along the grid line. So I can count 1, 2, 3, 4. So my radius is 4. So I'm simply going to plug those values into this equation. So my h is 6 my k is 0, and my r is 4. So I'm going to plug those values in. So this part of the equation is going to be x minus 6 squared. And remember, if this circle had been over here, if that h value had been, say, negative 6, this would have been a minus a negative. It would have turned into a plus 6. So you got to keep track of your signs. All right. The, the k value is 0, so that's y minus 0. Well, that's just y, so simpler to just write it like this. It's just y squared. In fact, that's preferable. And then 4 squared is 16. And that is the equation. Whoops. That is the equation of your... Sorry, I have a little technical problem here. That's the equation of your circle. I hope this helps. Good luck.